Hey, GED students, it's GED question of the daytime again. And um, looks like we've got another one of these word problems accompanied by a graph, just like the GED loves to give. So let's take a look here. It says the pie chart below describes a GED's average weekday, a GED student's average weekday by activity. Sorry. Approximately, I love the word approximately. Every time I see approximately, I go, woohoo! permission to round. I don't have to do the math. I can make an educated guess. Uh, so approximately what fraction of the day is spent awake? So, okay. Um, first of all, um, a lot of students get mad at me. They take a look at these categories here on this portion of average weekday by activity. Uh, categories on the graph and they go, hey, look, there's travel time, entertainment time, meals time, homework time, job time, school time, and sleep time. There's no awake on this graph. I can't answer this question. And y'all, we're going to have to think about things a little harder than that. Um, would you agree with me that if you're not asleep, you're awake? So besides this piece of the graph, the rest of the graph here, Is all awake time? Does that look about right to you? So, and I got permission to approximate, so I don't really need to do the math here so much as I can just use this visual representation, this pie graph here, and say about how much of the graph here I've now shaded in as being the awake portion. Well, it's clearly more than half. Um, and also I'd say it's clearly more than a third or a fourth. You know, I've got more than half going on. A third of a graph would only look like this, one little piece out of three. A fourth of a graph would only look like this, one little piece out of four. And so I was able to rule out most of the answers now. So I've got it down to either two-thirds or three-fourths. Those things are both more than a half, so which one is it? Well, I'll tell you the best way for me to think about it. I'm actually looking at this piece I'm not using here. Um, I can see that this uh, piece over here, let me pull out a different color so you can see it too. I'm imagining that I took this piece, this 34% piece, and I drew um, another piece of about the same size on the graph. So uh, how's that look? About the same size as that piece? I think so. Remember, we had permission to round, approximate. We can do that visually with a circle graph. There's about another piece of the same size. Take a look at this. I broke my graph into thirds. Three equal pieces is breaking it into thirds. And how many of those thirds do I have shaded? two out of three. And so just with a really quick visual approximation, I can see that about two thirds of this student's day is spent awake. And in fact, if you'd have tried to use the exact number 34% and convert it without rounding it, you would have never gotten to two thirds and you may have ended up very frustrated. Okay, um, if you have any questions about this or any other GED topic, um, feel free to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.